Hi, my name is Gloria. I'm an investor and a realtor for investors here in the Indianapolis area. And today I get to talk about one of my favorite subjects, why Indianapolis is a good place to invest. And I have the top five reasons that um, Indianapolis is such a, a growing community and why you should invest here in Indianapolis. So the top five reasons that Indianapolis is a growing real estate market. Number one is a cost of living. So I've grown up in the Midwest my whole life and just used to the cost of living that's here in the Midwest. But I've heard that from other um, areas of the country that this really is a really great place to live because of the cost of living. So like, for instance, I went last night, bought a gallon of milk. It was about $2.80. Um, a gallon of gas right now is just under $3. And this is June of 2021, if you're watching this later. So that's kind of about, you know, what the, the, the cost of regular things are here in Indianapolis. Um, the average purchase price of a single family home, I just looked this up this morning, is 195,000. And the average price um, nationwide is 284,000. So that kind of tells you right there that just, you know, the entrance point to purchasing a home is much better here in Indianapolis. Indianapolis is well below the, the national average cost of living. Um, in fact, um, Forbes Magazine ranked us as the number one affordable place to own real estate. So that, that's great. That's a great little score there. And then CNN Money said that Indianapolis has an affordability score of 96% out of 100%. So um, I've lived here in Indianapolis um, for about nine years now. And one of the reasons we moved our family here was because of the cost of living. So I think that the number one reason why Indianapolis is such a great growing market is because the cost of living is so low here. The second reason that Indianapolis is a growing real estate market is really the diverse economy. And I really think this is the, you know, a really good factor for Indianapolis. Um, when I grew up in Northern Indiana, we grew up in the, um, it was mostly dependent on the RV industry. So RVs are a luxury item. So when an economy goes bad, it's the first thing that tanks. And it's the last thing to come back up after the economy recovers. In Northern Indiana, a lot of the ancillary businesses are also dependent on the RV industry. So there was just a lot of light, highs and lows in the area. And because of that, you know, when the economy was bad, no one could find jobs and they're all leaving the area. That is not the case in Indianapolis. We have so many different kinds of um, jobs and um, different types of industries and businesses here in Indianapolis. I think that's why we have such a, a major um, stable economy in Indianapolis. Um, there's several different types of things that um, support our industry here. Um, Eli Lilly is one of the major companies here. It's a pharmaceutical company. Um, because of that, I feel like we have a lot of medical industry in the area. Um, there's, there's several major hospitals that are here. Um, Riley Children's Hospital is one of the premier children's hospitals in the Midwest. So a lot of people with, with children with, with severe um, diseases or things like that actually come to the Indianapolis area for that. Um, St. Vincent is another major hospital um, uh, network here. St. Vincent is another hospital network here in Indianapolis that's one of the major 500 companies. Um, Anthem Blue Shield is an insurance company that's based here in Indianapolis. So a lot of different things in the medical field here. Um, we also have several colleges here. So Indiana University and Purdue University, their main campuses are only about an hour and a half from Indianapolis. But inside the um, borders of Marion County, Indianapolis, we have several major universities as well. So IUPUI have, has a campus here. Um, IU has their medical training here. So because of that, we have a lot of medical students and physicians assistants traveling nurses that also tie into, you know, the great hospitals that we have here in the area. Butler University is a liberal arts college that's very strong here. Marion University, there's University of Indianapolis and Ivy Tech Community, Hos Community College. So because of that, we've got really good, strong, um, strong colleges in the area. Um, our airport is the national hub for FedEx. So because of that, we've got a lot of manufacturing and distribution centers here. Amazon had considered us for their headquarters too. Um, we did not win that, but we made the top five. And I think because of that, a lot of the, the tech companies kind of came and like, what's great about Indianapolis? Why should we come here? I think one of the good things about it is that you literally from the middle of downtown, you go 15 miles out, you're standing in the middle of cornfields. So we have so much space to be able to expand 
Um, I just heard just a few weeks ago that Apple is looking to put a distribution center by the airport, going to um, be putting $500,000 into building the distribution center, and then it will be adding about 500 jobs in the next 18 to 24 months. Um, so again, a lot of manufacturing in this area, um, a lot of technology. Salesforce has the biggest building downtown. And so um, I think just because of the low cost of living and the space that a lot of the technology companies are, are liking this area. Um, Indianapolis is, is ranked number one highest job growth city in the Midwest by Narada Real Estate Investments. So um, they're, they're, it's, just, it's just one of the places that, you know, I think a lot of these companies are realizing that um, the, the state itself has a lot of legislation that is very friendly to corporations. And so they really want to be in the area. So again, I, I feel like the diverse economy is one of the best things about Indianapolis, that we're not dependent on just one type of industry. We're to, we have several different types of, of industries. Um, my husband's an engineer. He works for Rolls Royce. They do um, aero, they're in the aerospace industry. Um, and like during COVID, they work the whole time. Yes, they pivoted, they worked from home, but no one lost their jobs and their company actually is hiring right now. So again, the diversity of Indianapolis is one of the great things about um, our area. Third reason that um, Indianapolis is a growing real estate market is the employment growth. So I just talked about all the great um, employers that are in the area. So all of these companies are continuing to add jobs and continuing to um, bring great talent to the area. A lot of the colleges that are here, um, the young professionals coming here for college are enjoying the area and actually wanting to stay in the Indianapolis area. So the employment growth continues to um, just keep skyrocketing. Um, U-Haul um, released their 2020 migration trends and um, Indiana is the number 12, I believe, for migration trends of people moving to the area. Just kind of a personal story here is um, I had a friend that moved here from California for a job and we actually did a new build and she happened to buy the sight and scene and was just really nervous about that. But I was telling her, if you don't get in now, it's gonna, it's this, the new build is gonna take about nine to 12 months. So when I went to the sales rep for the builder, she told me that um, to tell my friend not to be afraid, she's like 70 to 80% of my clients right now are out of state and buying these houses sight unseen. So she said she's seen a lot of people coming to Indianapolis from uh, California, from New York, New Jersey, Illinois. So um, a lot of people are, for whatever reason, you know, moving to Indiana um, for jobs, for um, policy changes. Indiana is a very uh, conservative state or um, just because of the cost of living. So we're just seeing an unprecedented amount of employment growth right now in Indianapolis. So I just think that's great for the economy and great for investors out there. The fourth reason for um, coming to invest in Indianapolis is the unemployment rate. Um, I just looked this morning and it looks like our unemployment rate is right about 3.9%. But however, I personally feel like that's a little bit overinflated. So again, this recording is taking place about June, June of 2021. And um, obviously we had just come through COVID, so had a little bit of a hit there. But I really feel like Indianapolis um, did very well with COVID. Um, a lot of the professionals that I know, you know, white collar workers did not lose their jobs. They just pivoted and are working from home. Um, the only industry that really got hit was the hospitality industry because Indianapolis is a big convention center town and a big sports town. So our hospitality, our hotels, our restaurants got hit a little bit, but um, they came right back up again. Um, spring of 2021, we hosted March Madness. Um, in May of 2021, we hosted the Indy 500 at 40% capacity, which I've heard was the largest gathering of people since COVID began. So Indianapolis is really pretty strong um, and we bounced right back from COVID. Like I said, the unemployment rate's at 3.9%, but I feel that's overinflated because all I do is I drive around town to all the distribution centers by the airport. Every single one of them has a now hiring sign. Every fast food restaurant is begging for help right now. I pulled up to Burger King the other day and they, they came on the speaker system and said, please be patient with us. There's only two of us in here. And this was in the middle of the afternoon. So 3.9% um, unemployment rate, but honestly, anyone that wants a job can get a job right now.
So the fifth reason that um, Indianapolis is a, a growing real estate market is the entertainment here. And this is kind of fun for me. So this is one of the reasons that we personally moved our family um, to the Indianapolis area about nine years ago. Um, Fun fact, I actually play violin and viola, so I'm kind of a little bit of a classical nerd. Um, so I enjoy the Indianapolis Symphony. I enjoy um, the Indiana Repertoire Theater. I enjoy the traveling Broadway shows that come through. So we have a lot of that kind of snobbish entertainment as well. Um, we also have Rock Music Center that brings a lot of the big um, uh, concerts through. It's an outdoor theater that's just huge and just a ton of fun up on the north side of town. Um, White River State, uh, right, White River Park in the middle of Indianapolis also has an outdoor venue that they do. So we, we have a lot of concerts and things like that that do come through, a lot of musical entertainment. We've got some great museums here, um, Indiana State Museum, the Idle Jordan Museum, to name a few, uh, the Glick Museum. But then also on top of that, we have the Children's Museum. And honestly, the Children's Museum is not just for children. Um, it, it's, it's a great place to be. It's, it's ranked like in the top five of children's museums um, nation, um, worldwide and actually of museums overall. It's, it's like got four levels of, of just great entertainment space plus a whole out, outdoor sports experience thing that's fun, not just for kids, but for the whole family. In fact, I went, I was driving through Starbucks one time and I asked the, the barista there, like, what, what are you doing for the weekend? He's like a long, young 22 year old kid. And he's like, me and my friends are going to the children's museum. So that's just a great, great place to be in Indianapolis. So um, the restaurants are great here. There's lots of independent chefs that, that are coming and, and bringing their restaurants to Indianapolis. So we have a, a lot of great, um, a lot of great restaurants here. And then our sports industry is just phenomenal. So we have the Indianapolis Colts, the, the Pacers for, that are playing basketball. We have um, a fun uh, Triple E uh, baseball league that's kind of a feeder team for uh, Pittsburgh. But it just, they have a great um, place out there that's like a nice place to be for families. Um, lots of, of college um, sports here. Obviously, we're really close to Purdue in Indiana, and Indiana is known for their basketball. Um, like we did host NCAA March Madness in the spring, so Indiana loves basketball. And then, of course, we can't forget about the Indy 500. So Indy 500 is just kind of our trademark. Um, the May around here is all full of checkered flags all over town. Indianapolis is really pr proud of our race. So Lots of great entertainment in Indianapolis. It really is a big city with a small town feel. And I think that's why so many people um, love to invest in, in real estate in Indianapolis. And it's just a great place to be.